If you would have seen the Nylon Geyser back in 1953, you wouldn't have been impressed. It's located near the Mexican border in California's Imperial County, and as far as life-threatening natural phenomena go, it's still just a big, foul-smelling mud puddle. The problem is that it's moving and growing. For the first five or so decades of its existence, the Nylon Geyser was basically an unspectacular geothermic feature that brought water and carbon dioxide up from a plate line created by a previous earthquake along the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. It didn't shoot water into the air like Old Faithful or let off steam like a hot spring, it just bubbled up at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Better described as a mud spring, the Nylon Geyser is more like a sinkhole than a geyser, except all the mud from the fault actually bubbles to the top instead of sinking to the bottom. But enough about the geology. The real issue is that about 11 years ago, the geyser started to move. At first, the pace was pretty slow, but in the last six months, it's traveled about 60 feet, including six feet in a single day. In total, it's crept 240 feet since 2007. And as it moves, the top 40 feet of ground is weakened and made unstable to support any type of structure. Its basin currently measures 18 feet deep and 75 feet wide. And now it's very close to a Union Pacific Railway, California State Route 111, a petroleum pipeline, and a fiber optic telecommunications line. And as if California doesn't have enough to worry about right now, this sinkhole geyser has been declared a state level emergency. Engineers have made numerous attempts at stopping the creep. The geyser's basin has been drained and wells have been dug. Union Pacific even built a wall that went 75 feet deep just to try and cut the geyser off but the mud just seeped underneath it and trudging towards the tracks. In addition to the billions of dollars in potential infrastructure damage, the geyser also brings a wonderful combination of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide from underground, creating a rotten egg smell, and if anyone were to fall into the basin, they would suffocate almost immediately. While Union Pacific has built an alternate track, no plans are currently in place for the road, pipeline, or communication cables. I'm Jeff Ranke, and this is IEN Now.